Hughes, Hughes, Hughes. Dr. Hillary, I love that man. He was the prison doctor on this week. We used to call him Dr. H as well, but for a different reason. Thank you, doctor. I used to go and see him for the voices in the night. Can you smell out, Bill? Hills could not get arrested. Even embarrassing bodies didn't want to know. He didn't have a pot to piss in. Now, he's flying. Everyone wants to speak to him. He's dishing out advice. Have a spoonful of money. Yes! All day long! He's gone right to the top. He's up there with Harold Shipman. So now Hills has come to the front, he's getting a little bit leery. He's got in touch with me on that Zoom thing and said, Buller, can you get me a nice kettle watch? Something a little bit special. So when I'm talking, it keeps flashing little diamonds around it, something like that. I said, I'll do it immediately. And my old nuts started ticking. Who do I know in the jury going? All of a sudden, Zoom, it come to me. I think he's still got to have a bit round him. This is the man who was the brains behind the Atten Garden job. Ping! I've got him on Zoom with us, Captain Tom. I said, Tom, you still got anything left from the old vaults? He said, what are you looking for? Now, a lot of people want to think of Captain Tom in the Atten Garden job, but I'll tell you now, he was the first through the hole. He had more jewelry out of them D boxes than anyone else on that bit of work. Why do you think they call him Captain Tom? Great train robbery, Brinks Matt, Millennium Dome, all his work. We're on the Zoom, everything's going lovely, we're sorting it all out. All of a sudden, ping, who's shown up? Michael Ball. He won't leave Tom alone because they've done a song together. Now he wants to get an album out. You're egging the grandmother out of the man. I said, Michael, keep Stom for a minute. Hillary, if Captain can get you a nice watch, will you do his feet? Because his bunions have come up with all the walking. He said, no problem at all. So I got it all straightened up and I thought, look, I'm going to do something nice for Captain Tom. It's his birthday coming up. So I got in touch with Stelios because I knew he wouldn't be doing a lot. I said, Stel, do me a lemon. Oppa! I said, can you do a nice flyby for Captain Tom? I was expecting him to turn up in one of the big orange numbers, but Stelios has turned up in a crop plane. He's got to get a living, hasn't he? Man can't get furloughed. Chili sauce, salad, everything, my friend. He's just about to do the flyby. He is singing. He looks over. Who's next to him? Michael Ball. No. Love changes everything. The man won't leave off. Fly me to the moon. Michael Ball has dropped Alfie Bow like two are dripping to be on the phone with the captain. He's on him like a barnacle. He doesn't want to do an album with you, Michael. Leave him alone. I don't know how to tell you this, but he don't like your voice. As they're flown over, what Captain Tom don't realise is all the crop sprays going here. He's hitting his eyes. His eyes are stinging. He looks like he's waving, but really he's trying to knock the gear out of his eyes. The man's under jeans old. He don't need it. Whoa! Me yucks! To be honest with you, I'm surprised Michael Ball even fitted in the cockpit. The size of the man, he's blown right up since lockdown. Someone saw him the other day doing a runner from Lidl with a trolley full of cheesecake. Sure in a little bit of New York. Beautiful. Captain Tom is absolutely fuming. He said he's gonna do Michael Ball whatever. Spiteful man. All the cheesecake in the world ain't gonna get you out of this one, mate. If you're out there and you ever see the captain, go the other side of the street, take your own advice, and walk on. Walk on, walk on, Michael, with hope in your heart, or you'll never walk again, Michael, before you get up. Walk on, I told you to walk on, walk on with your big boof on air do, walk on!